Hey, have you ever felt like God was calling you to do something, to be involved, to say something to someone, or to become a part of a mission, or an outreach, or a community event, or something, right? You just feel like God is whispering to you to be involved, and you make excuses on why you can't do it. I know I have, right? And we we get all worked up and we, we start to, to doubt that it could be God and we start to doubt that God could use us because I'm nobody, you know? And the prophet Jeremiah was called by God. And God calls Jeremiah and says, hey, listen, Jeremiah, I have known you since before you were formed in your mother's womb. I have set you apart and I am going to make you a prophet among the nations. And here's what Jeremiah said to God. Ah, uh, nah, I don't think so. I'm just a kid. I can't do that. Right? Does that sound like you? It certainly sounds like me sometimes. I'll tell you that right now. You know, I'm just nobody. I, I, I don't think I'm the guy, you know? And God said, listen, I'm going to put words in your mouth. Don't be afraid. I'm going to send you out. I'm going to be with you when you go, and I will give you the words to speak. And Jeremiah prophesied to three or four different kings in Judah and warned them that they needed to repent of their sins, and if not, a calamity was coming. Babylon was going to come down from the north and take over Judah. And sure enough, even though he kept working at it and kept working at it and kept talking to the kings that they needed to repent, that they needed to turn the country around, they ignored him. And finally, Babylon did come in and take over Israel and take all of the Hebrews into Babylon as uh, their captives. You know, we kind of make excuses on why we can't do what God wants us to do. And he wants us, he has, listen, God has set each and every one of us apart, his followers, his disciples, right? To follow him, to do the things that he calls us to do. And it may not be something as massive as prophesying to four or five kings of a country, right? But it may be that we need to talk to one lonely teenager. It may be that we need to get involved in working in a food kitchen to feed those who are less um, uh, privileged than we are. Maybe it's just to go and visit the lonely at their homes or to go to prisons and visit prisoners or to get involved in children's ministry or you see each of us have these gifts that god has given us now he wants us to use those gifts to bless others around us so when he starts to whisper in our ear when we start to hear that little voice that says you should go over and talk to steve Go over and talk to Steve because God just may do something incredible in your life. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.